Okay, first up is reading numbers off the C and D scale. The C and D scale are your two most important scales in the slide rule. If you take a quick moment to examine them, you'll notice that the two scales are identical. The only difference is that the C scale is located on the slide, while the D scale remains stationary. Let's line those two back up. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Okay. We take a close look at this, we notice that we have different sets of numbers. Sets of numbers are denoted primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary numbers are the numbers like this one over here. We have one. Here's two. Over one here. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Those are primary numbers. Okay, our secondary numbers. What we do is we take in each interval in between the primary numbers and divided into 10 partitions. So we have the interval in between 1 and 2 divided up into 10 parts. Here's our secondary number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. As we get further down the slide rule, we lose the ability, we don't, we don't have the room to write in the numbers anymore, but still we have the interval between 2 and 3 divided into 10 partitions. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And as we get really far down, look in between 8 and 9, the interval is still divided into 10 partitions, right? And here's the middle right over here, so that's the secondary number 5. And here's secondary number one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay. Let's get back down to the other end of the rule where we have some room. And we'll look at tertiary numbers. Well, in between any two secondary numbers, again, we divide up the interval into ten partitions. And those make up our terti tertiary numbers. So here's a tertiary number 5 in between the secondary numbers 1 and 2. Right? And as we get further down the slide rule, like here's the secondary number 1, and notice that this interval is only divided up into 5 parts instead of 10. So each one of these little graduations here represents a tertiary number of 2. So here's a tertiary number 2, four, six, eight, and ten brings you up to the secondary number one. And as we move further down, like once you get down here, well, we know that that's our secondary number one, and what's in between there, the interval is only divided in half, so that little line in between the primary number eight and the secondary number one is the tertiary number five. So let's try reading a couple of numbers. Now how about the number 3.14 pi? It's already marked on the slide rule. Alright, what we have to do is find our primary number three. That's the number up front. Then we have point one. So we go to our secondary number one. It's right there. And then we have our tertiary number four. And we'll line that up right there. And that's how we, we would represent pi on the slide rule. As well as the number 314 or 0.000314 all get represented by this line right over here on the slide rule.